Lydia Tudia Singula, the OC5 female councillor representing Southern Division in Kavali District, has made a thoughtful donation to Mugabe Primary School in Southern Division, Kavali Municipality, to help reduce school dropout cases. She gave reusable pads, pens, rulers to the students, particularly those in Primary 7 and 6, to empower them during their final exams. Tudia Singula recognized that some students at the school are struggling financially and may not be able to afford essential materials including sanitary pads for girls. By providing reusable pads, she aims to reduce the monthly costs that girls face, making it easier for them to stay in school. I'm here uh, to give out uh, success, to give success to P7 and P6 pupils and mostly P7 because they are doing exams next week. So uh, I chose to come to the primary school to give the uh, reusable pads to the girls of the primary school so that they can help them during, when they are doing their exams. They also to give to boys so that the, the, the rulers and the parents can also help them during their exams. I decided to come to Mugabe Primary School because I know that uh, some of the, of the pupils, some are midday, uh, as it was reported earlier uh, by their school uh, authorities, that most of them are midday, they fail sometimes to get even in a uniform, they fail even to get in school fees. So, as a, a, a parent and as a, a, a leader, I also decided that I can do something. It can be used and then later uh, be washed and then uh, be used again. Yes, the girl child has been facing the problem of pads. Sometimes they didn't have money to buy the pads. And then uh, they could go to class and then when they, they go, uh, they must wait. They, they, go to, they, they go home, they don't attend these classes. So I decided that at least if she has that one. The deputy head teacher, Amumpile Precious, appreciated to their singular gesture, highlighting that many girls miss classes during their menstrual period. The girls have been facing a challenge of missing lessons because if they, they join the periods, they could go home and miss period and miss the classes. Because they even don't have money to buy pads, they go home and sleep there for two days. So these special pads she has given to us, they are good because they are re reused. One, the, you can use them today, then you use them next month. They are not like those ones you use and you drop in the rubbish. You can wash them, you can keep them and you reuse them again. Project manager Marion Nisima also emphasized the challenges girls face due to lack of access to sanitary pads which can lead to school dropout. Most of the times, uh, especially when you are in primary, this is a time uh, when someone is experiencing this menstruation thing uh, and most of the times it is a challenge. So, uh, girls have been experiencing a challenge of Abrupt, uh, abrupt periods, which they are not, uh, they which they had not expected. So, if they are given these reusable pads, oh yeah, uh, these reusable pads, first of all, they are reusable. You can't use them, so they are commercial. We don't spend a lot on the on, on the pads. You use them again and again for a year, even for more years. Uh, then secondly, they are healthy. They are healthier than these other pads. And uh, thirdly, they are good uh, with conserving the environment, as I have already said. Managing waste. If you use something and you reuse it, you will not dump it, you will not... Beneficiaries to Sime Monica and Karin Musimenta express gratitude for the reusable pads, which they find cheaper and more environmentally friendly than disposable sanitary pads. <laughs> Uh, 
This initiative aligns with efforts to promote menstrual hygiene management and reduce school absenteeism among girls. Memory Aguma for I Television.